Okay, you guys, today we are looking at the Synology DS1819 Plus. This is an 8 bay Synology NAS. It can do anything from simple file shares to a surveillance station. I mean, it can be, it can even host VMs. You can host Windows VMs, Linux VMs. Uh, it's very intuitive, it's fast. As long as it has the traditional four NIC one gigabit ports. It has three USB 3.0s in the back, two eSATA ports, your, of course your power jack here, and then you do have one USB 3.0 port in the front. Um, I like the newer models because now you do have an expansion module here on the right to where you can put in, I don't know, some SSD caching. You can put a 10 gigabit network card there. Um, there's so many different options you can add there. You just look on the Synology website and it'll show you. Um, so let's dive right into this and do a quick memory upgrade because these things usually come with only four gigs of memory and we're going to be running some VMs on this so we're going to definitely need some more so we're going to be upgrading this to 32 gigs and that's two 16 gig DIMMs that we're going to be upgrading this to. Alright so we have our crucial 32 gig kit which is the two 16 gig DIMMs. We're going to take our Synology NAS and flip it upside down. It's pretty lightweight because um, we don't have any hard drives in it yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and undo these two screws here on the bottom. Non-traditional order uh, models of the Synology NAS, it was a lot harder. You actually had to take the casing off and, and do a lot of headache work um, to uh, try and just get the memory in there. Cause like I said, you take all the screws off the back, take the case off, you know, it just took a lot longer here. It's just two screws in the bottom. I love how they redesigned it where the memory's on the bottom. Take out that four gig DIMM. Set that aside. Here's our new kit. Let's go ahead and open these up. And you do want to just make sure you get the same speed, which is the DDR4 uh, 2400. It's basically kind of like laptop memory, but um, it'll work in the Synology NAS. Here it is again. It's a 32 gig kit, 216, DDR4 2400, so dim. And it says notebook because usually this is designed for laptop memory, but this is such a low powered machine, that's why it takes that kind of memory. And you can see, please wait 10 minutes after powering on because once you put the new memory in, the system has to adjust the settings and everything for that new memory. So just to be aware of that when you replace your memory. And just tying these screws back on. And that's pretty much it, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and let this power it on and make sure it detects that new memory. If you have any issues, I would suggest um, putting the old memory back in if it doesn't boot up after I would say 20, 20 minutes or so. Um, but let's go ahead and power this up. See how it does. All right, we waited for our Synology uh, to boot up after we did that memory upgrade. Like I said, it took us about 10, 12 minutes, so give it some time for it to fully boot up. I love using this uh, Synology Assistant app so I can quickly find our um, new Synology on the network because it usually does DHCP. So here we are, we picked it up, it's the 8.114. And you can see there's two of them, but that's because we have both two NICs active. Uh, if you have all four, you're gonna get four. Uh, or if you have one NIC active with one Cat5e cable, you'll just see one. Um, so we went to 114, we logged in. Now we're gonna go to Control Panel to make sure it's picking up the new memory. So we go to Info Center, and you can see now our total physical memory is from 4 gigs to 32 gigs. And that's how easy it is to upgrade your memory for the Synology. Please see the link in the description for the type of memory I used and this where I purchased the Synology. Hope this was helpful. Thanks, you guys, and see you in the next video.